Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do a blow pour. All the materials I've used in today's tutorial are linked below. Pour a small amount of each paint into your mixing cups. You will want slightly more white than the rest. Starting with your first colour, add a small amount of water and mix thoroughly. You are looking for a warm honey-like texture just like this. Now it's time to add the flow troll. You want to add about the same amount of Floetrol as you did paint at the start. Again, mix well and you're looking for that honey-like texture. As you can see, this is a bit too thick, so just add more water. Now repeat this exact same process for all the other paints. Once all your paints are mixed, it's time to add silicon. Set your white aside and add a small spray to each colour. Now very gently combine the silicon with the paint mix. Start by adding a thin layer of white paint to your tray. Tilt the tray to spread the white paint towards the edges. The paint doesn't need to meet the edges just yet, you will do more tilting later on. Now one by one, Add a small amount of each paint on top of each other in a random pattern like this. Now starting from the middle of your paint shapes, blow outwards. Start tilting your tray in order to spread the paint across the base, 
You don't have to do this all in one go. Using a blowtorch will give you nice little cells where that paint is spread thin. I now decide to tilt my tray until the entire bottom is covered. If you like how your paw looks at this stage, you can leave it as it is. However, I continue to blow with a straw to soften out any little edges and to create a bit more detail. Look at that beautiful tiny lacing. This type of pour is worlds away from your standard acrylic pour. So it's so much fun to experiment with all these different types of techniques. Do let me know if there are any other kinds of pours that you would like me to cover. I'd be more than happy to do a separate tutorial on this. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.